Hello and welcome to the Quibber Channel. I am Jason, your host. I hope you are having a good day. Bert is here with me, Barrel's here with me. Uh, oh, Barrel wants to come on. Oh my gosh, let's get you on. I just woke up. So I think I've caught up with some of my sleep. <laughs> Sunday, I think it's Sunday. Let's um, just get my... It's good. So we're going to make something simple this morning because I don't feel like actually doing much. My brain is still half asleep. He's so beautiful. So beautiful. Hello, Nini. How are you, Nini? I'm good. I'm just waking up because I've slept in. I just woke up at like, noticed the clock was like, ooh, I managed to sleep in. I must have really needed to sleep after being at munchies and that. So yeah, I'm good. So we're going to do a simple meal. It's going to be, a, I'm going to do my normal rice risotto. Oh yeah. Bertie's happy, Beryl's happy. All is good. So let's let's sort this out. I do it in the Instapot because it's nice and simple. But before I do anything, I'm I'm going to have my tablets. Because we have to have my tablets. Hello Parker, you wonderful person of Parkerness. Okay. Right, so we're good. We're good. So what we're going to have rice and veg and something else in there. We're going to make a risotto, like a risotto, like a ricey risotto. Let's get. Let's make. Let's put it in there. There. We put it there. Then we'll put stuff in it. The first thing we should put in it is rice. Funnily enough. So we need we need about 75 grams of rice. About because I don't measure things exactly. It's been a while since I've had rice, so. So, we have rice. We have rice that goes in the Instapot. There we are. Rice. It is the rice of happiness. I'm going to get one potato. One little. I'm going to get a potato. If I don't find a potato, one potato. There, we found a potato. This potato's got a hole in it. Right, we've got a potato. Ooh. <laughs> so, one potato today. So this is a basic meal because I'm still waking up. So I'm just going to quarter, quart, and... And take one potato into the rice at the bottom of here. Rice is in there. Da, 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 da. Uh. Yeah, I always try to go both both Friday and Saturday. You know, I haven't missed a Munchie show in eight months. Even when I had to move house that weekend, I still set up my computer in there. And managed to actually do. So I'm there all the time. It's it's like my second home. It makes me happy. Being there. So I always try to be there every single thing. I haven't missed one at all. Right. Now let's add a couple of sausages. And Oh, 
Yeah. Well, the problem is, it's most of the people that go there are American. So, we've got some sausages. So, we put two sausages in. If you can open the pack. Opening a pack is hard. One. Two sausages. Yeah. Two sausages are done. Now, we've got here some casserole mix, some root vegetables which can go in. We've got a little bit of frozen, frozen spinach. Two of those little pieces of frozen stimp spinach shall go in. And a little bit of normal veg as well. So, right, that's all done. Now I can put this all away. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's sad. And the one last ingredient, one last ingredient, because I can't have stock in my meals and that, because I can't have normal stuff, so I use one of the soups that I can have. So the soup, this soup, which is just a normal vegetable soup goes over the top of all this to create the stock for it about 300 of liquid and this goes in the it's the pot for nine minutes water's in there and I've given it a stir and that's it anything else is yeah I can sit down and talk so we've got all that going in there put the lid on Right. Yep, no salt or spices. Um because I have high blood pressure so I never add there's a tiny bit of salt in this in the soup, so it doesn't need it. And the soup also has spices in, so that adds to it anyway as well. So those soups that I have are the basic cheapest ones which don't have all the extra crap in them. And that meal will do two meals. It does my lunch and I, the what's left of it I probably have, have with some potato croquettes or hash browns or my my the new meal. So yeah, I've started doing a lot more singing. I mean, as far to go as you saw, I went to different open mics yesterday, as well as going to thingy because I wanted to push myself to see what I could do to see how much I could. Because yesterday was the first time I went to other places to sing that wasn't munchies. And tonight I'm going to a place as well, which is going to be awesome. But yeah, there's so much going on. 
It really is. And um, it's just really nice. I'm really happy about how everything's going. I've set back up the big, my normal laptop in here. Yeah. Lovely person, Rose. Well, it's, it's wonderful how you meet people in VR chat and get to know them. Connecting with people in VR chat can happen so organically. So yeah, I put away the Surface Pro because we did the tests with the Surface Pro and we saw what you could do. The next thing is um, on later in the month when Vida comes to visit me and he brings this HD PC, this HD PC, little tiny PC. That is going to be my test bench in the kitchen that will be set up for everyone. I'm thinking this month I'll have to decide. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. I mean, it's funny thing is, last night, um, before I did my stream, well, I wasn't feeling up to streaming because I was so tired yesterday. So I just wandered around. I ended up at another place, another um, big... Why is it big open mic place? And I ended up, the guy liked my energy so much when I did my song right at the start that he asked me to co-host it. So I spent two hours at that place co-hosting an event with him, with Squirrel, the person I'd just met. So that was fun. Of course, I should have been resting. I should have been resting, but it's amazing what doing this kind of thing at what doors it opens up for you and people you get to know it's very easy just like in life just it like in um other things to find your five or six or ten or twenty people and insulate yourself with them but the thing is this is why every day i make sure i go to a public world this is why i make sure i step out of that comfort zone and go somewhere because I might meet someone else, someone new, someone special, someone who I never would meet if I didn't go to that new place. Very happy, actually. I'm just going to... Let's see if I can log it. Is that my Facebook? Where's my Facebook? Which Facebook is it? Uh... I'm trying to see if I can log into my other Facebook. If I want to log out of this account, unfortunately, I have to use Facebook sometimes because. Is this the one? Get into my Facebook account so I can just send a message to Vic. It's normal. It's normal. It's a very normal part. Mm. And the thing is, when we meet these people, and we um, look at our life, of course, well, well, think about me, Nini. You know, every time I go for turn on a stream, I analyse myself. I try not to. And every time I do a song, or any, every time I'm going to thinking of doing a song, I take myself apart. This is why, Nini, I've never listened to one of my vlogs. This is why I don't actually... When I've recorded this vlog, and I've uploaded it when I do the vlogs and that, 
I purposely don't listen to my own vlogs because if I listened to my vlogs, I would analyze them and they'd never get uploaded. I would take them apart. This is why I don't edit any of my stuff. It isn't just that I want it to be raw and thingy. If I did open the can of worms of just watching one of my videos, I would start to take myself apart. So I can't do that myself. It's a horrible thing that we do to ourselves. And especially if we've dealt with depression and everything like that, it edges it all in the wrong direction. So let's, so I'm going to send a message to Vic. The person who gave me all those power. I'm going to give a um it's, I did a video yesterday that I wanted to send to make sure he sees that video because when people actually give me stuff like um the discs for the Amiga and that I am so appreciative of that. So let me just go in here and grab the Earl. Yeah, yeah. You could have, Nini, you could have what's called seasonal affective disorder. It means when the weather's like this, when during the winter and that, when things are dark and thingy, it affects your body. Season, seasonal affective disorder or sad. Called. I don't get that. For some reason, I, I, I am, I don't, um, Get that at all. Yet. And of course that happens as well. So it's really special to connect with people. Like every time I do a stream, someone new might come along. Someone new might watch one of the videos that Azeel did about me. And someone new might come to my channel and we get to meet them. And then they might end up on the server and we may end up, might, might end up gaming. And they may become a part of our little extended family here. So it's wonderful. It is really wonderful. I'm, I'm, I'm still wearing, look at this. I'm, this is this, this, this. Far to go. I'm still wearing my um this is my VR. This is my VR little top I wear for going VR. Why do I wear this? Let me show it you. Let me show. Inside here is internal pockets and inside each pocket is a twin two hundred and sixty two thousand no twenty six thousand milliamp battery which feeds through my arms to my controller so i've got one of those batteries at 26,800 so i can stay in vr longer if i want to charge my if i want to put my controllers on charge while i'm in vr oh they're heavy they're heavy but once it's zipped up i don't feel the weight at all once this, this is once this is zipped up 
Oh yeah, these are these are proper. These battery packs are amazing. These battery packs, these Rad Power battery packs, in there. So they just sit in there, and I just zip this up, and I don't feel the weight. I don't feel the weight when I'm actually in VR at all. It's the power bank shape, it's like the power bank shape. Yeah. So it's twenty six thousand eight hundred milliamps, which is enough to charge, recharge. I could basically stay on VR for 24 hours and I wouldn't run out of power. Yeah, yeah, because I can do the same. If I've got this on and I use my Quest 2, I don't often use my Quest 2, Parker, but all I would have to do is run a cord from my Quest 2 down my arm, down my um, shoulder and into one of these battery packs because each one of these battery packs has let's have a look. each one of these battery packs has three connectors so i can connect three things i can use two these two battery packs not only to power my actual controllers but i could power all of the um all the full body trapping tracking as well Yeah, I love them. I love them. My favourite kind of clothing. You'll always during the winter. You will always see me in a hoodie. Caves electricity. So the doggies are sleeping at the moment, lying down on their little place. Let's show you. Let's show you a picture of the doggies with me. I'm glad you got your Droid Cam working. Huh? The Droid Cam software is very, very good. So let's. Um... So Bertie's over there by the food bowls, as per normal. And also over here. Now they're both just lying down and resting at the moment. Bye bye, Theo. In when Bertie decided to come and say hello, there we go. Oh, Bertie, aren't you beautiful, little doggy? Oh, you're sweet. And beautiful. I love using the um, camera like this as an action cam, it allows me to move it around easily in the kitchen. I'm doing anything specific. You want to love, don't you? You're a good dog. Oh yeah, why not Tio and where whatever makes you comfortable and whatever you enjoy. If you'll notice in my room, watch this. Yeah. You'll notice I've got these big seventy five litre things. I've got three of them in this room. And these, this is because, this is like, this is my, um, one of the issues that I face sometimes. So these are full of water. I've got two there, two big 75 litre water butts there, and one just over there. And the reason I've got them is because of the, you've seen my big boxes of 80, I've got 80, um, you know. You've seen my big boxes of um, famine. So basically at two o'clock one morning, my brain woke me up and said, you know, if the water gets turned off and we have a disaster situation, how will you eat? And I thought to myself, hey, I've got all that ramen and I've got all this stored food in the cupboard. It says, but where will you get your water from? And so I couldn't get back to sleep until I had basically sourced and bought this hundred and... 230, 230 litres of water storage to make sure my brain can say, yes, now you can cook all your ramen. If, uh, if for some reason the, there's a disaster and you lose access to fresh water. So that's what my brain did one day. And so that's why I have those three big water butts in here full of water. It's food grade plastic. Hello, Noah. Yay, Noah's here. It's food grade plastic, so they can just sit there. 
Yeah. Yeah, because our brains, um, autistic people and people who are dealing with anxiety and all those kind of things, we can't easily lie to ourselves. And I can't lie to myself anyway, but you find there are a lot with people who are dealing with anxiety and all that. Whereas people will say the, these wonderful words to you, everything's going to be fine. Your brain will scream, no, it's not. No, it's not. Because of this, 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 and this. So you have to create situations for every, everything that your brain will say. And it's not a bad thing. It is not a bad thing. The whole point is this is a good thing. Knowing that if anything happens, I've got like two months worth of ramen and I've got about, about the same amount of water in my house if there was a disaster in the UK. Helps me to sleep better at night. And I have to live that way because I can't ever just put it off by saying everything's going to be okay. We've seen too much. We've seen too much recently. It's quite justified to keep these kind of things in your house. To make sure you've got a stock of food in your house. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Morning, Ben. I saw you at the show last night, Ben. Ben Dover was at the show. Boy, I saw Ben Dover. <laughs> I love that show. I always feel so humble. It's like... It's like when you're sitting there at the front and you're sitting next to all these people that are so amazing. It's very hard for you to realize that you're all so amazing and can do all this. It's crazy, but it's so much fun. But yeah, my brain has a very much a what if. It's like the reason I've got the solar panel in the backyard is in case the power goes out. It's a single solar power panel. Into that single solar panel in the backyard goes char is charges to 12 volt 100 amp batteries which means i've got a total power resource in the backyard of 2.4 kilowatt hours which means i could charge my laptop i went out i could charge my phone i could charge all my batteries It doesn't need any maintenance. It's like, what I did, I, I bought a vet, the batteries are what's called AGM. So they're actually gel batteries. So that the batteries are to 112 volt. Hello, Vida. Yeah, two batteries that are, see normally if you use normal batteries for a system like that, they can leak and you've got to keep an eye on them. Got to, pop up the liquid and all that and you have to watch out for the gases but those two batteries are what's called in fact i'll find the exact ones that i bought let's go to here and i'll show you the one um let's go to my orders on here because i bought many many they were very expensive but it was investing in a system so we're just going to my returns Come on. Okay, so if I go to this, all right, so let's see if they can find the exact one that I've got. They're heavy, like 35 kilograms each. So let me go back one bit. These are like them. Mine are a better quality, but these are pretty much the ones. The they're sealed batteries. You know, no maintenance. You don't need no, no, no. You don't need to clean them or anything. You don't need to clean them. 
they that's not the, as good as the ones but these the AGM batteries they're completely sealed and you can just put the very and they're deep cycle so you can draw nearly everything out of them without causing problems and this um, solar panel that I've got propped up in the backyard just trickle charges them and there's enough power there for me to power this system to recharge all of my battery packs to charge my phone and my steam deck and keep keep all of that stuff going pretty much indefinitely if i had to and the actual the actual solar panel so i've put i've got them two in in line so instead of having um instead of it being a 24 volt system it's a 12 volt 200 amp system and now you work out how many kilowatt hours you have is you times the voltage by the amps and you get basically 2.4 kilowatt hours and that's how much power you can't draw all of that but and i've got you hooked into a 300 watt pure sign inverter which turns it into the kind of power in the house and i plug in a battery charger in there and so on works really well i work i built in Yeah, the panels I've got, the panels I've got, I'll get you, I'll show you the panel, the solar panel I've got. Uh, 280 watt, or This is the kind of thing, they haven't got the exact one up. It's the, this is only the 200 watt version, but let me show it you. Control V. That is the flow flexible, flexible monocrystalline. The version I've got is a 280 watt version. In fact, this is the same kind of one, it's a 280 watt. And basically, that is, because it's flexible, it's meant to be put on a, a narrow boat or something. You can walk on it. And it's got like a pebble dash effect on top of it, which means the water, when it rains, cleans it it stays clean just by the water cleaning it from rain so every time you have rain it cleans itself completely and the nice thing about this solar panel is it can work with ambient light as well as direct sunlight yeah yeah so and basically that's built to be walked on it is built to be on top of one of a narrow boat and that and basically you can walk on it and that and it's incredibly strong and flexible so you add that whole system together and you've got a solar panel system that it's not enough to run the house or anything, but in an emergency, I could charge my phone, I could charge my everything in the house. And that helps me sleep at night because at night when my brain wakes me up and says oh my god what happens if the power turns off i can just think hey i've got a solar panel set up in the backyard and if the power goes off i've got torches in every single room of the house and i can charge things via that i would still be able to do my vlog i would still be able to do my talk to all of you i'd do it all on that little 65 watt laptop because that's the whole point because these, let me show you, these are the new, these, yeah, oh yeah, I would love that, that's what, that's the plan, when my mum passes away, if there's any money left, I'm going to invest in a solar panel setup on the roof, 
These, this is the new generation. This is the new generation. I've done videos on it. This is the new generation. Let me bring up my thingy to Of um, battery pack. Now where my old battery packs, these ones that I've got in my pockets here. These ones are from 2016. These can only output um, about 5 watts. The, the amount that a normal USB 2, a USB 2 cable can take. Yay! Vida can be my sugar daddy. <laughs> so this one can just power. It can't do USB-C. It can't do extra amounts. It doesn't quick charge. It just does 5 watts per thingy. These are the old ones. But this one, this beautiful little device, which I've got three of those, these, this is a 65 watt. This can power my laptop. I can charge this with my solar panel and pretty much infinitely power my, yes, yeah, 65 watt. This can output 65 watt. It's got, it's got 20,000 milliamps. So it can charge, it can charge the Steam Deck. It can charge the 65 watt laptop system and it's beautiful. No, it's not. Let me find you the page for it. Let me find you the page for it. Let me find you the page for my um, thing. They're quite cheap as well. They're cheap and I buy them. Buy, whenever I've got some spare money, I'll buy another one. Let's go to my orders and I'll find you what it is. Move on that. So this is the a beautiful hello Ben though. Windows here still. <laughs> so this is a Basius power bank, 65 watt, 20,000 milliamp. Battery pack. It's got full power, PD power distribution, 3.0 QC, it's all the new stuff and it's really good. And so with one of these, I could charge my Steam Deck. I could charge my thing, my, it's got 83% and I don't keep it at 100%. And it is beautiful. It can fast charge if it needs to. So on. Yeah, currently unavailable. It's available in my country, but not available in your country. So in, in my country, I it's sixty two pounds each for each one of these, and these are freaking amazing. You can power a laptop with them. And so these, yeah, these. If you've got a few of these and you can charge them in cycle with something like a solar panel in the backyard, then you can pretty much if the power goes out, you can permanently keep your laptop and your steam deck and your portable router and your wireless connection to the world charged by these so it's pretty amazing the products that you can that you can get so yeah they're very good they're like they're, yeah they i try to buy one every few months so i've got stock of them so if the power ever goes out, I can just use them in cycle. So I've got to always remember that even if the power went out, I've still got to be able to do my vlogs and do my therapy. And so that's what they're there for.
Because even if I couldn't upload the vlogs, I could still make my vlogs. I could still do the stuff in front of the camera. But yeah. <clears throat> of course, in a power out situation, I wouldn't use this laptop because this is a power hungry laptop. It, it draws about 150, 180 watts. This, this laptop I'm using here. This is the one that had the actual server on. But that little Samsung that I had in here that I can do all of my cooking programs on that one, that one only draws 65 watts, so that, that can charge it. And the funny thing is also, even if you've got one of these batteries, one of these kind that can only put out five watts, if you turn off your laptop, this will slowly trickle charge it overnight. So you can still do that, you can still charge it. It just takes a longer time. Well, yeah, my brain is all about making sure I've got backup plans on top of backup plans. It's like having the Berkey, that big silver thing there. That Berkey was bought so that we could filter the water for power. But I still use it all the time now. And in theory, as horrible as it sounds, that Berkey is one of the best um, proper water filters out there let me show you a link to the Berkey the Berkey is expensive to buy the full system it's about 300 pounds but the um, filters that you get with him the carbon filters that you get with them last for something like 60,000 gallons I've got a set in there a set of filters in there that I put in there in 2016 and they're still running fine it hasn't needed a new one since then so it's got dual filters in there and those dual filters filter everything you can in theory and it might sound gross worst case scenario you can live using a Berkey I'll get you a link to the Berkey it's one of the Okay, so this is the Berkey. This is the bigger version. And you get a set of the actual filters with it. And those filters have lasted me six years. So that's the Berkey. Now the Berkey is so good that you could, in theory, I could go to my local canal get the dirty water from the canal or from a rain butt or from just a puddle, dirty puddle on the ground, put it through the Berkey and it would be drinkable water. I could also, in a situation where the utilities have gone down, I could save up, I know this sounds gross, I could save up my pee and you, could, you can put human urine through it and it filters it to the point where it's drinkable and, and usable. So in theory, the Berkey is like, not only is it good for filtering normal tap water, it is actually possible to use it in any kind of disaster situation to have a permanent supply of water, no matter what. Because the thing is, people, in this world of ours, we've realised over the last few years how vulnerable we are to disaster. If nothing else, the war in Ukraine, the COVID-19 and all these other things, that have, the climate problems that have, has proved to us that shit can get real really fast. And even though we, a lot of us mostly live in very lucky situations and live in wonderful places, first world countries and that, and we think everything's fine, it's amazing, and we've learned over the last couple of years how quickly shit can go down, and problems can happen. None of us are vul invulnerable to that. So the Berkey has paid for itself over and over and over again. Yeah, I mean, same with me. It's with having these water butts and stuff, and having the, um, they had a special, I mean, it's like these. These 
packs of ramen. These packs of ramen that I've got here. These one are special. Yeah. This is a special. This was on special. It cost me about ten pounds for eighty packs of ramen. About ten pounds. It was on a special on Amazon one day. So I just bought as many as I could. So, and they are the lovely ramen type, and you know you, I can just add a bit of water to them, and you can have food. I know it's not brilliant food, and it's not... What was everything? Yeah. Hmm. So, how dare they, Parker? So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what the, the thingy looks like, the, the meal that I put in, the risotto type thing. I'll show you what it looks like when it's cooked. This to open. So let's have a look at this. That's the risotto type thing ready. Sweet. Yay. So when Vida comes, we're going to we're going to have a treat. We're going to order takeout from one of the places around where I live because there's a few takeouts I can actually eat from. So when Vida's here, we're going to order takeout <laughs> when he comes to visit. Hey. But no, I'm very happy. <laughs> You're all wonderful. So I'm going to eat in a minute and then I will do my normal afternoon dream and see what happens. We never plan much, do we? It's just, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, No, just, just look for... Just um, order an Uber when you actually get off the train. They're like two, three minutes. Like I can show, I can check now. I can check. Let me see, see how many Uber cars are in the area for you to get from the thingy to my house. So let's um, go to my Uber thing. Bring it up and let's, cause let's see how many people are, how many cars are around here at this moment in time. There is, at the moment, the closest car is three minutes away. The next one up is, will would be here at, in like five minutes. The next one would be 10 minutes. Yeah, there's three cars within like, within five minutes of me right here. Yeah. Yeah. Because cause, um, while, while I live really close to the train station, Reader is bringing a little computer for me, so it's, he, shouldn't, he, he can't really carry that all the way to my house.
And um, I'm going to, Vida, I'm going to give you my mobile phone number and my home number for you to put into your phone just in case you have any issues so that we can get you up to mine. So I'll be right next to the phone. I'll have the phones with me in the house so that if you, once you, you know, I'll give you them later today. In fact, I'm going to um, go into and pick up my those right now so that I can just remember I'm going to give you them in Discord so that okay so this first one I'm going to give it him in here so to Vida 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 Yeah, I'll put your phone number. So there's that. That's my home phone number because some just in case the while the thingy and I'll also give you my main primary cell phone so that when you copy there we are. So you've got both of them there and I'll put yours in my phone as well. It just means it just makes it easier because Make it so that make sure that both of us can keep in touch in that. The trains are usually on time for the main lines anyway. So yeah. So I'll be doing a stream in the afternoon and then I'll be doing, so we'll do all that and have fun. <laughs> you are all wonderful. Splendiferous. So apart from Vic, who bought the discs, and that you're the only person, Vida, who will have visited my house within the last, oh, mid last year. I think my sister came over like mid last year, and apart from that, you're the only other person that's going to be visiting my house. <laughs> but like I said, anybody who comes to my stream, who gets to know me. I'm not an idiot. I won't let a person can't come on to my stream and say, oh, I want to come visit you today. No, but if we get to know someone and that, anybody who visits my stream, if you're ever in the UK and want to visit me, then I'm open to that. My... My sister is doing well. There's the I think they're just getting over COVID. They got COVID over the, over Christmas, uh, but they're doing okay. I don't see my sister and me are not as close as we could be, but she's my sister, and she has her own life. She has her own family, and she works and that. But she's a good person. Unfortunately, I don't think you've heard the story of my mum and how my mum actually went through tr some trauma herself and she split me and my sister up. She lied to both me and my sister. And unfortunately, we, we only found out like two, three years ago, two years ago, just how much my mum lied to each of us. My mum was a wonderful person, but for some reason, my mum wanted to split me and my sister up so that we wouldn't be close. And so for 15 years, me and my sister didn't talk to each other. It was crazy. So what happened was this. Um, we think my mum had a bit of a mental breakdown. We can't ask my mum because but when we found out what had actually happened, my mum was already suffering with dementia. And so my mum couldn't tell us why she did this. So that's another one of those things where you never learn going on well, basically she told my sister that i had sold all of dad's her dad's um stuff to buy a computer which means my sister hated me so she never talked to me and my mum told me that my sister had ransomed her children and said she wasn't going to let my mum see her children 
unless she gave her some money. So I thought my sister was a monster. And because I trusted my mum completely, and because we just, it just, I never talked to my sister for 15 years. And then we found out what had happened and that she had lied for some reason and we don't know why still. But some, my mum didn't like my sister, sadly. And I think she just wanted to split us apart. So me and my sister have a relationship now and our friend, uh, but she has her own life, I have mine. We're not, we're not close like we would have been if we had known each other for those 15 years. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm glad she's okay. I mean, I bought a VR. I mean, I built a VR computer with, an, with my old Oculus Rift and that for my sister ages ago as well. So, I did that for them, which was nice. So, I'm going to go and eat now. I'm going to eat things. And then I will see you all later. I'll probably do a vlog when I get back upstairs. I will. And I hope you both have a wonderful day until I see you on stream again. So bye bye for now. My, my extended family. You're all part of my extended family. Yay.